the weather's finally starting to warm up. It's obviously had a really wet spring, and so we are starting to see snakes coming out and people running into them and getting bit. One of the, the, the myths about uh, snake bites in the United States is that there are a lot of people who die from these. And the reality is we have very, very few deaths nationwide. Uh, probably most of them are related to allergic reactions to the snake venom itself. So in, in that sense, the bites of the, of the, of the snakes we see around uh, Kansas, Missouri are not so much life-threatening as they are just causing a lot of pain and, you know, keeping you out, off work for a month and things like that. You know, things that we can help with if uh, they get to a hospital in time and get some antivenom and things like that. Once you're bitten, the, the best thing you can do is to stay calm. You, if you want to put the arm in a sling or immobilize it, that's fine, but don't use a tourniquet. You don't cut on it. Don't suck it. There's even stories about people trying to use electricity to like electrocute it and things like that. You don't want to do any of that. Don't put ice on it or warm and then just get to a ho the hospital and then there they can call the poison control center. Most of the ways that snake bites are made worse is usually by people trying to do stuff before they get to the hospital thinking that they can suck the venom out and stuff like that and none of that's ever been proven to be helpful. It only usually makes things worse. You don't need to identify the snake. The antivenom we have treats all the snakes. We don't need to know if it was a copperhead or a rattlesnake or a cottonmouth or anything like that. It give you the same treatment. And we're gonna basically clinically evaluate you to see if there's venom because a, a, about 25% of people who are bitten by venomous snakes don't get any venom injected. So their bites aren't any worse than a water snake or anything like that. But you don't know that at the beginning. You wanna to get to the hospital, get evaluated, get some blood tests, make sure that everything is looking okay before you make that assumption that it wasn't a venomous snake. We know that bigger snakes are more dangerous, but people don't run into bigger snakes as much as they do smaller snakes because they see them, they keep away from them, things of that nature. But without a doubt, a bigger snake is more venom, so it's gonna be more problems. Kids can get a little sicker than adults because the snake doesn't really take into account, at least we don't think it takes into account the size of what it's biting, as far, especially in defense. And so it's gonna inject the same amount of venom as it would an adult. And so kids obviously being smaller, have more venom in their body and so they can have more adverse effects. They can get a little bit sicker, a little more swelling pain. Sometimes they have bleeding problems if they're bitten by rattlesnakes and things like that. Right now the standard treatment for uh, all the venomous snake bites in this area is going to be a certain type of antivenom and that antivenom is expensive and can be hard to find in some of the smaller hospitals. And so the reality is a lot of them don't have enough antivenom to effectively treat patients for the course that may be needed. And so what we've done here at the University of Kansas Hospital is we've kind of teamed up with our SICU and we've created a snake bite center. So basically you call the University of Kansas Hospital, get the transfer center, they will work with you, they'll get you here and you'll be taken care of by the same physicians, same nurses, basically a team that's very comfortable taking care of what uh, of what is usually a rare event. I mean, there aren't a lot of, no hospital sees a lot of snake bites. And so what we're trying to do here is create a center that does see a lot so that we're familiar with them and everybody's comfortable with them and you get the appropriate amount of antivenom and not too much and not too little and you get the appropriate care.